So what I want to do now is a very quick recap of what we've done. We started with a grouped frequency table here. And from the grouped frequency table, we worked out our cumulative frequency values. They were just a running total of these numbers. When you've got your cumulative frequency table drawn, you plot your graph. Cumulative frequency always goes up the side. And your measurements always go along the bottom. And we always use these points here, the higher point in each group. So those are the numbers that go along. Those are the numbers that go up the side. It's actually often worth doing a little quick sketch first. So after we did the table, we then did the graph. From the graph, you've often then got to work out the median. And the median, you go halfway up, along and down. And that is your median. Your median isn't the 11. Your median is where it points to. Your lower quartile, that was a quarter of the way up, along and down. The upper quartile, three quarters of the way up and down. And when you had your upper quartile and your lower quartile, you could then work out your interquartile range. Now, what I want you to do now is some questions based upon this. And I'm going to find some page numbers and write on the board for you. So you need to be using these books, the A4 size. These are the orange books. And you need to find page 167. So you need to find page 167. And at the bottom of that page, you will find these exercises. Now, what you need to do for each of these is to draw a cumulative frequency table. So first of all, cover up part B. Our table last time went down. They've gone across. No big deal. We need a cumulative frequency. The four will go here. The first frequency number will go here. Then I add on my 28, I will get 32. Add on 33, I will get 55, and so on. Then you'll need to draw your graph. So your graph will need to go along from 60 to 160, because that will be the weights of the apples. And it'll need to go up to whatever your total cumulative frequency will be. Plot the points. So above 80, you will plot 4. Above 100, you'll plot 32 and so on. And when you've done that, you then need to find the median and the interquartile range. And to get the interquartile range, you'll need the lower quartile and the upper quartile. There's quite a lot of work involved in these questions. So question one starts on page 167, and it carries on onto the top of page 168. Then what I'd like you to do after you've done question one, and that's three separate graphs, question two when you're doing a comparison, when you do these two graphs, I actually want you to do it on the same bit of graph paper in two different colours for the points and the lines. So everything else should be fairly self-explanatory. If you want to look through another example, there are examples in the book starting on page 164, and you can read that through. But right now, can you find page 167 and work through the exercises you find there? The answers to what you are doing are the back of the book, the numerical answers. You can find the answers on page 316 to check you're doing them correctly. OK, over to you then to get some work done.